Good morning, traders. Look, in terms of news, it's really been about Euro uh, CPI numbers. They've been getting the headlines. We saw that coming out at 8.1% on the estimate there. Yeah, clearly, uh, the market is saying, yeah, why on earth are we still doing balance sheets expansion in, in the Eurozone? Why have we still got deeply negative deposit rates when we're seeing inflation numbers at those kind of levels? And US consumer confidence numbers came out at 106.4. That was better than the street was looking for. A bit of a relief there. Uh, Dallas Fed manufacturing numbers were pretty woeful. That contracted 8.4 points. Uh, and, you know, that may be playing into the ISM manufacturing numbers tonight, where we're going to be watching that one quite closely, where the diffusion index is expected at 54.5. So what have we seen in markets? Let's have a look around the grounds. I mean, rates have seen good selling. This has been a big one there. So you can go into Euro dollar futures, Fed fund futures, big selling playing through the curve there. You can go into US treasuries. Go to the belly of the curve and go into tens actually, you can see that the you know, 10 year treasury is up 11 basis points into 284. Inflation expectations, if you look at break evens, have moved down reasonably sharply, and that means that real rates have moved up quite aggressively. That's a bit of a tightening of financial conditions. And what that's done is that's lifted the US dollar against all G10 currencies bar the knocky. So we've seen good moves in the US dollar against the euro, which traded down to 106.79 before we've seen a little bit of a move back up into where we are now, 107.35. Dollar yen has really worked quite nicely. That's been the trade of the day, long dollar yen. We're seeing test that 20 day moving average there at the moment. It's broken through the downtrend that we've seen, that short term downtrend. A break of this 20 day, I think we could go into the top Bollinger Band, maybe into 130, that kind of region there as well. That dollar strength of moving real rates, gold's been under pressure. We traded down to 18.35, down about 1%. Silver's been under pressure as well. Whippy day coming through in crude and, and certainly nat gas as well. We saw front month WTI trading to 119.98, just below the 120 figure. Back home back, big whippy reversal playing through there as well. Uh, equities have seen some choppy trade. We've seen S&P futures trading 41.80 into pretty much down into the figure there. But uh, you know, we're probably trading around the 40 percentile of the day's range there. Discretionary, probably the best place to be. Utility and energies and material under pressure. And guess what, guys? It's the start of quantitative tightening in the US. So that's a big one to watch. We're going to be talking a lot about it with clients today. And trade with Pepstone.